Hi, I'm Scott from GuitarAndBass.com. Today I want to talk about five tips for playing bar chords more easily. I know we all could use a few tips on those because the bar chords, you know, they're tough. They're tough. What can you say? So I'm going to go down just five basic tips um, that will make them a little easier. But yeah, you still have to practice and also be patient. All right, so tip number one, sit on a firm chair. Okay, I'm not going to show you my chair, but you have to believe me, it's firm. Okay, so I'm not going to sit on the couch or the floor. Sit on something that's going to give me good support. All right, firm chair, tip one. Tip two is um, playing position. So if my guitar neck is down really low, that's going to make it hard. So I want to bring the guitar neck up at least, you know, pointing up a little bit. Ideally, and I like to do this when I'm playing hard stuff, is to go into the classical position where you put it on your left leg. It just brings the neck up in a great spot. All right? A little, little different feeling, but great for your left hand. All right, so I'm going to stay in this position. All right, tip number three is arm position. Okay, so to find your arm position, it's really simple. You just let it hang down to your side in its natural position. All right, just hang there, and then you're going to bring it up. Boom. Okay, so that keeps everything where it needs to be. Because you want to avoid this. Yeah, you know, if you stick your arm out like this, oh, you're going to get sore. So you're just trying to keep it in a natural position. And to find that, you just hang it loose like this. Bring it up. Try to maintain that position. You'll notice your elbow is, is close to your body. It's not out. All right. Every once in a while, you, you got to do some things that, that your elbows are out. But you don't want to stay there too long because you'll get sore. All right. And tip number four is... When you play a bar chord, especially, if, uh, well, any bar actually, you need to play on the side of your finger. Okay, so you're not going to play flat. You're going to play on the side. You get better contact. The, the, the bone in the, is closer to the skin. It's just more contact. All right? That's also going to bring your elbow in. And when you do that position, it brings your elbow in. All right, and then the last tip, tip number five, is sometimes you're going to have to move your finger up and down to... Um, sound out all of the notes under the bar because your, your finger has you know little um, high points and low points and each person's finger is going to be different so you have to figure that out and many times you have to just play around with that chord and realize okay when I play this bar chord I need to be up a little bit or maybe down a little bit to, to find the right spot so if I'm let's see I'm just going to do this full bar here Maybe I'm down a little low. Right, so I'll just raise it up a little bit. Okay. The other thing is I'm using an electric guitar, which is the easiest one to play bar chords on. Um, if you have an electric, that's a great way to work on your bar chords. It's just going to um, take it so much easier on your hand. If you don't, that's you know you, you work with what you have. The steel string acoustic is the hardest to do bar chords on it. All right, and if you're interested, there's an article on the website on how um, to, um, you know, what strings are easier to, to play with. And there's some good information on if you have a steel string acoustic, if you're struggling with bar chords, um, what you can do. There's some there's some different string gauges you can use to help you out. Um, so. Just keep that in mind. Um, if you're on a steel string acoustic, it's it's going to be the toughest one to work on your bars. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. So let's go through tip number one, firm chair. Tip number two, chords at home. Tip number two, position. All right. Tip number three is to find a natural arm position. Tip number four, play on the side of your finger, the one closest to your thumb. And tip number five is you may have to make some up and down adjustments to account for your the, the, the parts of your finger that may be not covering the string. All right, well, I hope that helps with your bar chord playing. And until next time, this is Scott from GuitarAndBass.com.